A group of Taiwanese high school students has created a nonprofit providing online tutoring for an orphanage in Malaysia. They've also handcrafted jewelry to sell to raise funds for the orphanage. Stephanie's reporter Stephanie Yang sat down with the students to find out more about their initiative. Hi. <laughs> the students greet the children at the Trinity Community Children's Home via a Zoom call. The Trinity Community Children's Home is a sanctuary for orphaned and neglected children. Seeing their need for help, four students at Kangchao International School launched an online learning platform to teach children aged 11 to 16 English in various subjects such as social science, Chinese, science, and math. started our project around um, last November, and so this was kind of because um, during COVID time, a lot of, we saw on news, like a lot of Southeast Asian um, kids, um, especially disadvantaged kids, they um, didn't have like the proper opportunities to go to school and such. T uh, tutoring a child from India, and his name is uh, Raymond, and he's now 13 years old. And he is also a very scientific person who really likes math and science. But when I teach it, it's really, uh, I was surprised by his uh, passion of learning. The nonprofit called Bees Without Wings was created by four seniors at Kangchao International School. Not only do they provide online tutoring and mentoring for an orphanage in Malaysia, they also handcraft jewelry based on traditional Taiwanese elements. The jewelry is handmade using 14 karat gold plated materials and natural gemstones produced by Taiwanese companies. The jewelry will be sold to raise money for the orphanage. Our um, nonprofit organization name is called Bees Without Wings and they're inspired, the name is inspired by like how bees are really hardworking and a really collective um, insect and species. So me and Shana came up with the name during a random math class and we describe the children as the bees who don't have their wings and we're we hope that we're the ones who could like um, provide them or give them their wings so they could fly around freely and fly and to achieve their goals and their dreams. I am the treasurer so I usually count on the money and the profit of our jewelry and we want to donate it to the TCC home and also I I designed the logo and banners on our website. The student said founding a nonprofit takes a lot of hard work, especially finding organizations to partner with. Um, this was actually really hard to do because um, at first we contacted a bunch of different organizations and um, uh, such as like in the Philippines or in Thailand and a lot of these we sort of like we started to have like a connection going back and forth and suddenly like um, for some reason they just disappeared and then so we had to keep starting from zero again so like we'd reach a point and then suddenly we had to go back and that's why we're also really appreciative of the people at the TCC home for being patient with us. Um, our facilities we are connected very very closely and Surely, uh, they will be of great help to us during the time that they have the time. And I believe that with their heart for the underprivileged, they will be able to still help them. We definitely need volunteers, that means tutors. Uh, one of the major areas that we really need help is actually the financial side. Because of the pandemic, uh, things all slow down. Donors are even slowing down. The students started tutoring the children from Malaysia in November and have already made different sets of jewelry that are being sold on their website. They hope that through the nonprofit, they can establish meaningful relationships with children and continue to create greater awareness in Taiwan about other Southeast Asian countries. For most of news, Stephanie Yang, Tai Mingzhen in Taipei.